Hey guys, welcome to the video. In this video I'm going to show you how to get half a million gil in what takes about 40 to 60 minutes. It's it's not a difficult process. It's probably the easiest way I found to do in this game. The only thing you need to do is you need to be in Altesia. Altesia. Sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong. And you need at least 10,000 gil to begin. Splendid. Where are we off to? So what you want to do is come to this arcade area and play the machine out on the fuzz right. It's going to cost you 10,000 G like I said. But it's definitely worth it because you get half a million. Obviously we're going to be playing Justice Monsters 5 and then what the goal is is to get 99 treasures that you'll be able to sell for half a million gil. The way you get these treasures is you literally just have to hold the joystick down and keep bouncing and hitting the bumper until you get your bonus uh, your bonus roll. For each round you could only do this at a maximum of four times so it is going to take you a while you, you can't just keep hitting the bumper or you're going to have to eventually beat the wave of the round but even that's fairly simple if you click the L2 button it'll actually tell you exactly how to play the game and what you want to do is you want to go to the last page where it shows you the elements and make sure you're using the correct element so you're not taking that much damage because you want to keep your heroes on the bottom alive. The boss for every boss encounter is always going to be a fire element so you just need a or you hope you get a water element because the heroes you get in the bottom is completely random. For example, I don't have any water element, but I still got by pretty well. This process does take a while, but the game itself is very easy to play. It is not a difficult game. You just have to get 99 treasure and then sell what you won to the nearest vendor. And you could keep doing this method until you, you just get bored of doing this method. It's, it's the simplest way to form the gill, I believe. I haven't found an easier way, and you just have to keep getting these boxes until the upper left is 99 and you're good to go. You can just quit. Alright, well, I sped it up so you guys don't have to watch the entire 40 minutes of me playing this game. But as you can see, I'm nearing the 99 mark. So, I actually end up playing this game until I get 99. I end up finishing the round just because I that's how I do it. Even though I'm told you don't have to wait till the end of the, uh, end of the round. I like to finish it just in case I don't lose the time that I just spent playing this game but once you beat this game at the 99 you get your prize and you can sell it to the nearest vendor which you will see and I'm just going to close out the video.
Huh. to not have to kill anything. How are you today? What should I buy? All right, and there you have it. As you can see, the price is for half a million gil. Thank you! And that's pretty much as easy as it gets. If you like the video, please drop a like and subscribe for more content. Have a nice day.